all right so now what can we do? let's go back to our favorite material master so product sample 24 order. all right so this is the list of tables at once most customers don't have everything although we can technically pull all of this let's quickly take a look what does this look like in my sap so if i go to my sap logging into my ecc and and let's see what my model has. If I see number of entries, it has 22,000 odd entries, right? Let's see if we, how we can get this information along with a few others to get this data for loading into LTMC. So I, you know, I use Mara, MAKT, which is the text and M-A-R-M. Now, all, I, we know all these three are tables, so, you know, that's what we'll be using. Just one kind of validation, which is there. If I do this, it tells me that, hey, your uh, Mara one is not one of the valid ones, so it's, it turns to no. Let's make it go green again. So I'm going to pull these three tables from, uh, from SAP so we can take a look at it, right? So all I have to do here is in my U-Migrate for SAP, I do refresh all. Now it is going into my backend SAP system and fetching data for these three tables. I could have put more of, you know, all of these tables and it would go and fetch them. I'm right now just doing it for these three tables let's see what it has pulled okay so this is your mara table this is m-a-k-t and then this is the m-a-r-m which is around what, 20 four thousand odd entries right now there's a bunch of stuff which users need to do for before they can use this uh, as is. They will need to transform. They will probably want to profile this data, see the duplicates, maybe remove the duplicates, full flash fill, and they can they might be doing some analysis on this. We'll go into the transformation because that's the heaviest part of uh, the work. Um, you know. If I was to simply try to find, um, you know, what's what's the data here, I can do different kind of profiling uh, just to see, you know, what's the data I have received. So this is the Power Query mode where you can get uh, detailed information. We'll get into this slightly later and it's part of standard excel features now let's see if you know if that i once i'm ready well, how do i export all of this data to to my ltmc so all they will need to do is to press this button load to sap ltmc and whatever it finds on this is what it will export to the folder right so now it has gone ahead and exported data one which was the mara data onto our folder right so data one is now created and if i go into my folder i will see that data one has been created now and similarly you can you know uh, do your transformations and whenever you're ready go into sltmc to export it out now there's few things which you could be doing you can also pull your reports decodes 
BW extractors, etc. Whatever helps, you know, if people want to see, hey, I'm moving material to S4, but did I even create a purchase order against that material in the last two years, three years? Otherwise, why bother, right? Can also be doing some of these activities where I want not only, you know, my technical labels here, but I also want to see um, my business labels because I So this 24,000 odd records and this is a development server it might take some time to pull the data but let's give it a minute to get this. See, it has gone ahead and pulled the business description from SAP for each of the fields. Now there's one last thing which I find pretty cool uh, to look at that and that's, you know, how I can get help with all of this. So what we did was we put together all the best practices, uh, you know, guides, etc., and uh, with the Gen AI engine, and we use uh, Claude as well as OpenAI to give very specific targeted information about SAP data migration. So if I wanted to get a step by step guide for Let's say material master migration to this for one. It passes through, um, you know, our repository of information as well as it goes and looks at some of the best practices out there. Uh, on the World Wide Web and collates both of those together to give a very broad level view of uh, what is needed for someone who's trying to complete his material master migration to S4 HANA. So let's give it a bit of time. So what it found was, this is the step-by-step -step guide. It marks that, hey, this is from our curated knowledge database for SAP data, uh, material master data migration, and gives you, you know, mapping tasks, staging tables, etc. It gives the references also. And then it also highlights that it has fetched some data from AI, which is not from our uh, knowledge base, but still some users might find this useful, right? So this is one way through which uh, users can still uh, get the help when they are stuck with a particular task. And this can get as technical as we want. All right. So what did we do here? We went through all the all the templates which uh, you know SAP provides for LTMC so we're going to use that standard templates we did the engineering so that the user doesn't have to uh, you know pass through 68 of those templates and figure out which table I need to extract and then we give them enough tools to extract to transform the data and to load it for the LTMC Next, I'll go deeper into the transformation part, but I hope you find this useful. Thank you.